Hello and welcome back. Uh, I got a request from one of my viewers. I'm going to shout out to Orlando F1. And he just got a Brista Express. And he been having a hard time getting the right pressure using uh, 8 o'clock beans. It's called 8 o'clock. Uh, that's the brand. And I never heard of it, but uh, he told me that I can get it from local grocery store. I mean, I think I'm going to do some research on it. And I'm going to get that bean. It's called 8 o'clock. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to uh, hopefully dial in. I'm going to show you how to dial in that beans. So see what happens there. And anyway, uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. So I got the beans from Target. So let's. I have to say, this thing is so. It's only four dollars, less than four dollars for what? Uh, Twelve ounce. Hold on a second. Twelve ounce of beans for less than four dollars. So this one is best used by December. And beans like this, I don't think, I don't think they have a roasting date here. I don't think so. I have no idea when they roast this, but uh, it's good till December. So this is a medium roast, 100% Arabica beans. So I'm going to uh, use, here's the thing about the uh, fresh beans. Okay. Technically, this is fresh beans from store. And so do this one. This is a uh, whole beans from organic whole beans from Costco as well. And this is uh, Good Brothers Coffee. So this is also fresh beans. So we know this is roasted on February 10th. With these beans, we have no idea. So I know you guys talking about getting your fresh beans from store. Uh, technically, it's not the freshest. And the only way to ensure that is you have to go to like local coffee shop and they just buy beans from there. You know they are fresh. So let's try open this thing up. It smells pretty good. It's not bad. But I'm going to uh, show you the bean quality here. I mean, this is not a high quality beans. So I have 18 gram here. I'm going to, okay, so this hopper, uh, this, uh, this hopper is empty by the way. As you can see, but here's the thing about that because even though it's empty, you have an old bean stuck in here, uh, right underneath the blade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about like four or five grams. So I'm gonna flush out that of my old beans. I'm just gonna put some beans in. So now I can put 18 grams. So make sure I got everything out, and uh, I'm ju I'm just gonna tap it, make it nice and even. I'm just gonna use my distribution tool. You don't have to have it, you know. That's you know that's fun tools to have, but I'm just gonna tap. So by the way, uh, if you're not sure about if you have the exact the depth. Uh, in your tray, you're gonna have this called razor tool. So this one measure the the depth between the group head and your coffee beans. So I'm just gonna go like this. Simply scoop it out. You see the access the beans there. So now 
even though I use seven or eighteen gram. So this photo filter, uh, the baskets handle between seventeen and eighteen. So as long as it's doing that range, you should be fine. But I bet you it's about five gram. I just discarded. it. And this point, uh, I, uh, Orlando, I don't know about you, but I don't. Uh, you say you you're not getting any pressure, even like two or one. But in this video, I'm going to start with number. I'm going to start with the number seven, okay, and see what happens. So kind of like, so this one is 16 settings, so I'm going to start with the number seven. And by the way, just make sure to watch out for the pressure as well. Right, let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, I got no pressure. Oh, as you can see from the video, you get no pressure. So, which means this is a un, a, under extracted. I mean, I don't even have to taste it. It's gonna be pretty bad. So I'm gonna try one more time. So this time I'm going to go down to seven. So right now I'm at seven. I'm thinking, I don't know. Uh, let's go down to five and see. So this is my second shot. The grinder setting at number five. Again, I'm going to use the razor. Just make sure I'm going to have the right depth. So I'm just pretty much right on it this time. So I only use about 17.7 gram this time. Let's polish it. So pressure is good. Overall, shot looks good. You know, I have nice thick cream on the top. And let's, I'm gonna mix it well. Cheers, everybody. It's really bitter. And, well, let me see one more time. Uh, it's not the best, but I think this is pretty much good as you get. And I can adjust a little more, but definitely I don't drink it for uh, espresso, but Americano perhaps, uh, good for latte for sure. Put some uh, a sugar and some syrup, it'd be fantastic on these beans. But if you like to drink like Americano or just a good espresso, Stay away from eight o'clock beans, and I mean, if you can, uh, go with like local, uh, uh, fresh, freshly roasted beans. It'd be great. And if not, actually, the organic beans from Costco are pretty decent as well. I put on another shot with grind. I changed to five to number four. Again, I'm hoping. I wonder. I wonder it's gonna be a little better this time. Cheers. No, still the same. Still bad. You know what? I'm. I'm just curious. 
So right now I'm at number four. I know Orlando, you told me about you don't get enough good pressure at one. I'm, I'm just going to put it at number one and see. Okay, I'm definitely choking right there. You know what? I mean, overall, still, still decent shots. I bet you it's gonna be extremely bitter. Let's try this. You know what? It's not bad, actually. I mean, even though it's very uh, pressurized, I mean, the very high pressure, but it's more smooth than uh, two before. Yeah, smooth. I don't, uh, I don't have that bitter taste. I mean, it's uh, one. Uh, wait. So this is one. So let's see. Start with the seven. The five was okay. And the three, I'm, I got confused here. Anyway, it's, it's not bad at all. So, so that's one bad thing about uh, <coughs> uh, store bought beans. So you. Since this is not the freshest bean, so you have to really the grind it finer to I mean, extract the uh, coffee. Anyway, I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions or comments uh, below, and see you guys next time.